So you have this brain that evolved to keep you safe. Number one priority is survival, right? So that's why the amygdala is so strong and can take over everything. And then as we go through life, we actually condition our brain to have fear responses in various situations. So if something like very scary happens to you as a child, you have probably embedded way back in the subconscious mind some memory. It could be a smell. It could be a sight. It could be a sound with a fear reaction. Those get very closely linked. And then the other thing that happens when we're afraid of something, we very often avoid it. And that avoidance reinforces that fear. And we have repeated patterns of the behaviors that happen when we're scared of something, what that makes us think and feel. And these pathways become very strong. So habituation creates these really strong neural neural networks, but we can also change those. So we have neuroplasticity, our brains change throughout our lifetime, and we can actually begin to rewire some of the associations we make with certain situations, and we can rewire our brains not to have the fear response as long as we are fully convinced that it's not necessary.